Hello everybody, my name is Ray and welcome back to Minecraft and we're going to enter the pyramid. I've made uh, the first layer that I wanted to make. Let's get rid of you. There you go. I want the XP though, even though I'm a creative. I've spawned a bunch of husks. So you can hear them. This is kind of uncomfortable for noise here if you're walking alone in the dark. So I'm gonna murder these two. Apparently, this can happen. Baby zombies or baby husks. Whoa, oh, holy shit. You, that thing charged at me. Look at, what the hell? These things can run? Oh yeah, okay, so he can they can actually go up here because of the sand. Oh my god, they just That's so weird. Where are they? So I'm just going to run through my own maze. Oh small one dead. Um Ooh, okay. Cool. Um, we're going this way. This is my own made maze. Oh, go. There he is. There's another one here. Oh god, there are a lot of them here. Imagine doing this in adventure mode or like, maybe... Uh... Or in survival. <laughs> this would be scary because... In the game, in the survive, after this, after I make the second layer, I will put a ceiling on top of this, a tree high, so it would be... It would be like this. Boop. For the entire hallway. That would be a, a lot scary, because then they cannot get on the walls. It's going to get a lot darker because everything is blocked off. Now you can kind of see the torches. And, well, it's going to be a lot worse. But uh, let's let's look for these husks. Because their noises are pretty annoying now. Hello! Ooh. Oh, they, I just imagine a, a husk will be glitching kind of through the roof. Because they are like two blocks tall and then a few pixels. Um, ooh, there are multiple ways here. Let's go here. No? Um, ugh, so many walls. It's so tight and claustrophobic. There you are. I can hear one in the... from afar. I, I'm back at the beginning. Yep. Oh, he's over there. What are you doing up there, you piece of crap? Uh, gosh. Need to go all the way back there. Oh, wait. I can use this one here. Yes. I feel like one of those scares, those those I I visitors from uh, <laughs> from Roller Coaster Tycoon, where I'm like jumping, trying to see where the hell I'm going. I don't hear anything anymore. So there's a spider somewhere, or it's outside. Could be outside. Where the hell am I going here? I think it's outside. It could be in that little hallway. But I think it's upstairs on the on top of the thing. Can I go here? No. Okay. Wow, I already forgot how to do my own maze. I did find all of the uh Oh, 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 cool. So we're going to 
the staircase. We found the second layer, people. And this is how the maze looks like. Pretty cool, if I say so myself. It took a little bit to figure out how and what, but there are three ways to the staircase. In the end, you will always come through the same hallway. Um, but in the end, you can go from that uh, to the right side here and walk around. You can come from that entrance way, like that, or also from that entrance way, but from down there. And this staircase here is connecting to these two over here, which is going to be even funnier, because I'm going to make it even harder from here, because I might just do this and make another staircase around here which then will proceed to go to let's say for example when when is the uh, the upside down pyramid so there's going to be layers that going downstairs and then when you're here you know it will be too high because this is the third one so this will be the ceiling let's see take let's just do this really quickly that's why i wanted to make a a floor out of uh sandstone because that doesn't fall down so this is one layer below the normal layer so if i really really wanted it I could make, oh, I could just do a lot of hallways here and just, yeah, I, t I can just make another layer of maze over here on this C, on this row, and then go even one more. Let's see, floor. Yeah, and I can do this. So this would be one layer, this would be one layer, and then this is one layer, and then I can do maybe two layers higher. Let's see how that's going to work, we're gonna close this off really quickly, because this is going to be the, the ceiling for this layer also going to be the floor for the next area now I need to look if I closed off these walls here let's let's make that close let's just close that up too I want it to be too high no enderman's going to bother you here but skeletons, creepers, zombies, maybe spiders too. I'm not sure on that. But yeah, that would be nice. So we're going to just going to close this off completely. And we're going to start building on layer two, which I will make a, do, which, which I will do, I think most part of it in this video. No, one higher. There you go. Uh, hold, hold on before I go any further. Um, let's take away these things. I want to do some stuff with a chest chest where's chest no chest in here there's a chest here there you go we're gonna take a bunch of uh, gold nuggets I think 60 uh, 128 is good and then a bunch of bones. And I'm just putting one chest over here. Uh, 
There you go. And I need those. There's one chest over there. I could put a chest on this place. Kinda in the dark. And it's also kinda just there. Maybe some uh, arrows. These are uh, arrows of harm or something like that. There. We got one more. So we got two chests here. Maybe one for here. Around here. One, da, da, da. So you do have some, you know, like like when you're running around in the in the pyramid, you have some actual weaponry. And then we could one more chest. And because well, we got one in the middle. We got one in that corner, one in this corner. So we want to do this is the beginning area. So no chest there. You got to earn it. And we're going to put one all the way here in this corner. And in this one, I actually kind of want to put a iron sword. You know, just there you go. Completely surrounded by bones, as if there is a pile of bones in the chest, you know? And a little bit of gold here. Oh, that's too much. Like that. This is a nice one, because it has an iron sword in it, so you have a, an actual weapon with some arrows. And now we're just going to close this off. Are you still going to be able to walk around here? Yes. It's going to be a lot more claustrophobic and dark now that there is a ceiling on top of everything. Does you me Ooh, I <laughs> Is this? I felt for a second there was something standing here, but it was this little shadow, this darker shadow part. See, that's how already this is going to mess with you. Very claustrophobic, very dark, very maze like. There's an actual zombie spawned in here, that's cool. That's really cool, because that means like it's so dark. That just normal enemies will spawn here. So even if you like, if you just run around and it happens, for example, you run around here and for some reason it ha you happen to come across this staircase, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna go to this staircase. And you come around here, you just run around this part like this, and you just come across the very entrance again. It can happen. That you just walk toward back to the entrance and there's something spawning here while you were over there. Which practically means that you're screwed. Look on how these bright areas just turned dark. Like look at this. Here's the ch there's the torch. But now it's completely dark because of the ceiling. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be an awesome place to just run around. Because you got one layer here. You got the second layer around here. And maybe a third layer. A small one. And then you got two more layers down. Because you got here a layer. And you can even go down another layer. So you got like four to five layers that I'm planning to make right now. 
and then you got like maybe I can make more layers on and on top of that like going up and going down gotta look on how much I can have space I have to work with I'm just gonna have to improvise a little bit but it's gonna be a gigantic pyramid maze with some chests with some loot Lots of dark spaces for mobs to spawn, so it can happen you have like a complete route with just skeletons and husks and just zombies, but maybe if you're unlucky... Oh, that's the... I need to open up these ones. This is an... Poop. Yeah. It's gonna be a pretty annoying one if there's a creeper, because that's why you need the arrows for. You kind of want the arrows for the creepers. And if a creeper does explode, well, you just opened up a path or two for yourself. First of all, you, you have obviously a drop down to the layer below you, so you can fall down to a lower level. But you can also, for example, if it happens here, you have, like, another entrance. Just consider it to be... A creeper could be your opportunity to find an easier route, to make yourself another route. I don't know if that works in adventure mode. Or in, sur in survival it really does, but I don't know about sur adventure mode. Yes, Mr. Zombie, I'm going to close you in here. First of all, I do not feel sorry about it. Second of all, stop moving up my walls. Oh, this is gonna be creepy. Um, I do need some light, do. I don't need the chests and the loot. There you go. The bow is one of the rewards you can get from a chest. So I'm gonna keep that there. Da, da, da. I only need these two to be a very on. No, maybe the sand to make it more look like this place is collapsing. Because I put the sand here to make it look like as if this place is about to collapse pretty soon. You know, because roleplay. This is. This is what Tomb Raider should have been. Just a lot of ma underground mazes or like pyramids. I hope the new Tomb Raider game is going to be very good. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Like I hope it's more Tomb Raiding than actually killing people. You know? I mean, because I've seen the trailer and Lara is absolutely brutal. She's just... She's just uh, murdering people as if it's nothing. Like they, she kills them with with ropes, knives, pickaxes, guns, traps. She even hangs them on tree branches. You know, she's literally just hanging people. Of course, these people try to kill her too. But it's going to go more towards the Uncharted game series. You know, like. Oh, there's something mystical about this treasure or curse, you know? There's a lot of people looking for it and they try to kill you. Just, it's just a more brutal version of Uncharted, practically. Okay, now I need to find my way back to the entrance, actually. I didn't really thought of that. You can hear the water, because it's the... Yeah, you know, if you watch the other for the other videos, this place is built around and close to water. Hello, witch. Oh, you could have a big trouble when you find a witch. Well, that's gonna be an annoyance, isn't it? If you have witches inside the pyramid. Good lord, there are two of them here. I had one time. That there were like four witches close to each other. I was like, what? How am I supposed to deal with this? Yeah, there's water around the pyramid. That's why you hear the water. I kind of want to try to make some sand around it so that you don't hear the water constantly. 
It's gonna be a task though, because this is pretty deep. And this has all to be filled up. Oh my god, that's a lot of sand though. Even if I only want to put even if I want to only put two layers from here like like this, one, two, three layers of sand around it. I'm gonna have a lot of sand needed for that. So yeah, and I wanna build a small village around here. Maybe a little bit here, maybe a, a road place to here with a, with a nice uh, bridge here. And have maybe a house over here, a few houses here. Would be cool with a wall like that around. This as is like a natural wall, maybe. Could be nice, a natural wall. Just carving this out to be a little more steep, you know, like like this. Ta ta ta. Oh, go away, Mr. Spider. Spiders would still always be a problem. But yeah, with something like that, you have like a natural barrier against a lot of enemies. Well, not really, because they could still drop down, but you know, they will drop down several blocks. Like maybe five or six blocks, and they do that does a lot of damage though. Because, you know. Because damage, fall damage, does apply on enemies too. Like... Something like that. Well, if they fall down from like up here, it's like... Poof. One, two, three, four... Ah, uh, five, six, and maybe like around six blocks. Well, for the player, yeah, you need like 20 blocks so that you would need to fall from up here. Oh, to die. So for zombies and stuff like that, this fall would maybe cost two hearts of damage. Which would be around the same damage as a single hit from your stone sword to two and a half hearts around your wooden sword or stone sword damage that's actually a decent amount of damage though your your diamond sword does only like double that damage so it falls down and you just get a free hit basically Let's go continue on the, the stuff. Boop. Boop. Oh, shut up. That's the wrong type of sand. Alright, so we're coming up here. I did not need to hear that. There you go. I wanna... Oh, you can hear the wall. You can hear them walking on top of the pyramid. That's... that's creepy. I mean, not the skeletons, but like... You can hear the zombies walking right above you. <laughs> that's kind of creepy. That's nice. Um, this is gonna be a big room. It's gonna be your central hub, sort of. That would mean I'm going to have to put a chest in there and a uh, a torch. Obviously, a torch and a chest. There you go. Two, two, two. There you go. And a bow here. Wait, then we just 
There you go. The bow here would be nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. I need those bones. Maybe put something else here as well. Uh, I'm gonna put a smelter here. Like a, like a small central hub. Uh, Maybe a bed? A yellow, yes, uh, a yellow one. No, a gray one, as if it's like... People haven't slept in this bed for a pretty long time, so it's a lot of dust on it. Yeah, that would be nice. Hmm. Oh, an anvil for like upgrading instead of an oven. We have an anvil here. Ooh, that's a sound. That would be nice, like an anvil. Like you, if you find yourself in, if you have some mag magic books, you could just upgrade your weaponry. That's a good idea. Very good. Now shall we continue? Um, uh, oh, this is gonna be pretty annoying after a while. Baby zombie, nobody cares about your whining and growling. Please shut up. Seriously, where are you? I'm going to... I'm gonna kick you off of my pyramids. My pyramid, you piece of shite. Uh, there you go. Go away. Nobody cares about you. You uh, just climb back up, you little... Crap. <sighs> You're really hard to get rid of. Yes. <laughs> Plush. Plunge in the water with you. Bye bye. There you go. Husks don't burn in the sun, by the way. Just in case you'd notice that one husk was walking around there in the sunlight. It's not burning. It was pretty surprising to see the baby husk on top of the head of the bigger husk, because I have never seen that before. Um, let's see what we're doing in this place. Just ta -ta, like that. We're gonna make one area over here, one over here, and then just like that, like this. We got one dead end. Hmm. This one is... This one is gonna loop back. Uh... Yes, this is going to be a big loop back to the end, to the entrance way. And then we just enter this area here da, da, da. no not there over here and then we go here Hmm. So yeah, I need two and one two here to make it a a loop around. There you go. Ooh, 
Creepy. I'm gonna put a torch here. Like, there are a few areas already, just like if you run around here. Bop, 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 bop. You got in this little area here. Lots of sideways here with dead ends. Really a lot of them. Jeez. There can be like literally an enemy right around the corner. You wouldn't even know it until you're looking around the corner and you see them and they probably see you too. Man, I would not even want to know if I play this in survival mode on how many times I will get jump scared by monsters running around the corner and be like, hello there friend, and I'm like, no. That would be fun and creepy. I, I definitely need gonna to put that in a video when I run around this whole pyramid from top to bottom and back and trying to just do stuff. I'm gonna load it up in survival mode, giving myself, of course, a little bit of food, armor, and weapons, uh... just to make sure I can survive here. Because this will have to be. Uh... This will have some creepers in here, so it's going to be pretty annoying. To be very honest, because I have to rebuild stuff after it explodes. It's not a big problem, though. I know what to do. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I can, like... Maybe I can do something with the settings that they don't expl that they don't destroy things. Can I? In uh, like things like it's Avenger mode that the uh, creepers don't destroy the entire environment. That would be nice. And otherwise I'm just going to run around the whole building in creative mode. Just to see how it's like to just run around this whole place. Let's close this off. So we now know that this place can be all accessed from here. That's over there. And we need to put some stuff over here. Gonna make a long hallway here. Well, with long, I mean like as long as I can from halfway the pyramid. Wouldn't it be cool to have like an entire pyramid long hallway? Ooh. Yes, that would be fun. Uh. All the way up to here. Damn, that would be creepy. There's a torch over here, so... Just an average hallway here and then all the way over there. We gotta put a torch here that would be nice this whole hallway yeah that's that's actually looks pretty good from there you see enemies around the corner you just know that you're, you have to go there you're like oh god i have to go there nope i'm going back and then suddenly there's an enemy here like coming out of that hallway or just coming for upstairs you're like no I do a lot with the no. I like that. I like to do that a lot. Hmm. Uh. Let's see. Just one more here. Small piece of uh, dead end. <laughs> a small piece of dead end. Uh huh. That sounds. That sounds very good English, hey, Ray. Your Englishing is very well done. Like that. Oh, we have an actual. Let's go. So in the hallway here. And maybe this one a little closer here. So they have two dead ends here. That's nice. Um. Again around here and around here. Having a long and a longer hallway and having two or more 
sideways is always gonna make you wonder like if you're walking around here you're like oh there's an actual long hallway but there are two sideways like okay what if I go here and then you find two more ways you'd be like I wonder what's the other one doing and that way you just keep running in circles because I'm gonna make this one loop on itself hold on this isn't right I'm just gonna put it this way so I can put one more wall here so you just you do have the idea that you're going somewhere but in actuality, you're just you're just looping on yourself. You're just looping in on yourself, buddy. How sad, that's silly. Yeah, this is gonna be an annoying part for people, for someone to just walk around all these little corners. Yeah, like this, this, and this, just to get here. Or if you run back, you see like all these little hallways. There's one here, there's a hallway there, there's a hallway here. There's one loops on itself. Hmm. I can make this one better though, by putting this one here. Now I got two small holes, small dead ends. Yeah, a lot of hall, little little small hallways. What if I? Hmm. I need to place uh, the stairs up to upstairs. Maybe I want to be. I want to do that um, somewhere here, I guess. Not too close to the entrance, because that would be too easy. Somewhere all the way in the back. Uh, maybe this one. Let's see how that actually goes. So we have one here. Okay, this is not going to cut it. Hmm. Hmm. Can you be quiet up there? Apparently not. Hmm. This is very close. Because you go around here, and then you go here. Here, you're already there. Unless I close this one to make a dead end around here. It's gonna be sneaky because you think, think like, there's something around this corner and nope. Hey, I might have accidentally created a good place for a staircase. I might have accidentally made a staircase place, that's cool. So it can be accessed through here, which is going nowhere. But let's see. Staircase, you go down here, ta ta ta. You go over here. And then you go this way. Relatively easy, but if you don't know, you would still be running around like a maniac, like a crazy person. Because you would be running like this, this, like 
this there you go maybe you don't even see this one here you'd be like ta 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 okay there are areas here there's one here boom even more and like this one here also more there's even more stuff you wouldn't even notice this little area over here because you're just you just run around the corner you'd be like that ta ta instead of ta ta hey ooh hey staircase ta ta making you feel like you have multiple <laughs> making you feel like you have multiple ways to go that's going kind of evil if you ask me a little bit evil, not too much. Let's see. This, this this looks complicated from above, but it's actually pretty easy if you know the right way. Because if you're not even using this route, I can make this even more obscure by just doing this. You'd be like, ta ta. Bed, 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 there you go. Yeah, just ta ta. Doesn't really look like as if there's a path here when you just came up here, be like, hey, a bed, boop. See, even from here, you don't see it. It's, it's, you don't see it unless you turn around and be like, hey, there's a hallway there. The first thing you would see is this doorway. You'd be like, hey, what's over here? Never mind. <laughs> and then you'd be like, hey, what's over here? Never mind. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm going to keep it that way. I'm just going to put the staircase here. Um, I mean staircase. There you go. Ta ta. Huh. And I'm gonna, from here, I can make another layer. Ooh. I, maybe I want to make this layer a little bigger. This third layer. Higher. Having like, maybe. Two, three, and four high walls, maybe. Huh. That? No. I'm gonna keep it at three high walls. Like that. And then when you can get the fourth layer, this is the ceiling. The absolute ceiling. So, one, two, three. You're almost reaching the ceiling here. So there would be layer four. Huh. So four of one, two, three, four. Um, don't need to get lost now. And then we got layer. Oof, he sounds close. <laughs> we got layer. Oh, that you mean? There's a creeper. Get out of here. Layer five, which is around here. Then we got the layer six. Wow, there's a lot of layers. If I can fit four layers in in the pyramid, I can also fit four layers in the upside down pyramid. That would be insane. Ooh. Die. All right. Uh, Gotta get my bearings here. Where am I? Okay, so this is the very beginning. So this is obviously it's not as claustrophobic here uh, as it's going to be here. 
because this one is still uh, a, this is a little less claustrophobic but a little bit because of the sand but then from here and then from here and here things are going to get a lot more claustrophobic so it's actually proceeding to get from bigger hallways to smaller hallways to absolutely kind of horrifying nightmares for people that are claustrophobic because those people will not enjoy these runs here <laughs> yeah and now I cannot see from above um, where everything is so I don't even know if there are any enemies spawned in this place besides that one creeper. Is there going to be more here? Because I haven't seen anything. Let's just try to find something. Let's see. Let's see if there's something else here besides that one creeper. Wait, that's a, that's a chest. You know how I can make this place even creepier? Pun intended. Um, <laughs> by uh, using these blocks here. Having a little creeper face in the, in the middle of a hallway. Ooh. Nah doesn't scare anyone all right so let's go back to the staircase if I still know how to find that oh oh sh <laughs> fucking you piece of shit go away oh my god <laughs> I got jump scared in my own creation by a random mob spawning there you know what would be funny? A block with a creeper face on it. Now people are not going to be fooled by that. Getting fucking jump scared by an actual creeper. God. I don't like this one, you know. Wow. I kind of made a... I think I kind of made a good scary place out of this. <laughs> good lord. Kind of horrifying, if you ask me. Jeez, I was not expecting you to get jump scared here in my own creation. Good lord. I was trying to find... I was trying to find the staircase in my own maze. That's what I mean. I, if, if, I think if you would let allow me to just run around... Oh. If you just allowed me to run around... In Minecraft and make a gigantic... I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna make a giant maze. And with giant, I really mean giant. Let's see, there's a torch there. There's a torch there. There's a torch here. Is there a torch here? There's not, right? No, only there. Okay, good. So... We'll put one more torch here for the for the way up. We're gonna put it right down there. Cause then you don't see it from here. I hope. Let's let's check that out that theory out. Not there. Ta 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 just closing up this really quickly. All right. Um. This should now be 
kind of dark here. No, there's actually light coming from here, so that's kind of ruining everything. What if I just don't put it here, but here up here instead? Would you? I, I see it. Oh, there's, there's a fucking wall. Oh my god, I mistook that for being a creeper. Wow. Because of this, this is darker than this, so it looked kind of like a creeper foot from... And then this here is lighter, and this here looks like darker shade, so it's like a head, you know? Look at that, it's like the feet and the head, and then this part here is lighter, because that's the body behind the wall. Good lord, I get... I get I'm getting startled by fucking walls now. Yeah, I don't think you would see the this this and uh, this hallway here. So you can easily just run around and just not see the whole damn hallway. That's actually kind of smart. Kind of cool. Shut up. I I'm really nervous <laughs> about this. Um, I want to do this one away. Oh god. Um. Okay, this, this is the hallway. Yeah, you would barely even see this hallway if you just ran. If you just ran around the corner like this. You would barely even see this. I want to put it here. In this corner. Yeah, because of all these hallways here. Like one here. One there. Two, uh, two here. Yeah, that would be nice. And now we need to oh, find oh, a place open. I'm gonna open ceiling so I can actually start finishing the damn ceiling. Uh huh. There you go. There's something here on the on the damn pyramid again. Oh well, I'm gonna finish this layer and I'm gonna start the next layer. And I'm going to start to uh, finish the last layer. Oh, I can actually watch this third layer from up here. Cool, that's gonna be next episode then. The fourth layer and the third layer finished. So third layer finished and fourth layer going to be the next episode and then maybe we're going to try to do the upside down thing uh, let's finish this off uh, what is that that one creeper man the whole damn maze is fucking empty, and there's this one creeper in the middle of it. You just don't expect it to find one that one creeper. You just get jump scared by it. Ugh. And the whole fucking pyramid. The first layer, one creeper. Second layer, one creeper. Why always the damn creepers? I would not even get scared if it was a skeleton or like a zombie, but the fucking creeper face right in your face. Right after the fucking joke of the creeper face on the damn block. Look, this face. Oh, nobody's gonna get jump scared of that. Nobody's gonna get scared of that. Oh. No, but if you get an actual creeper in your face, everyone gets startled. Uh, let's see, that's, that's a nice place to start. It's stupid, and I need to do this whole area. Another whole row gone. No. There you go. It's not gonna work that way. This way is better. There you 
go. So we're gonna start up with this one here. This is not gonna have a hub. This one is gonna be on because you're like literally at the end. So this is gonna be a very short maze. Um, like this. Like that. I gotta make one row now. Um, so it's easier to see it from above. So I don't get stuck behind every block. I'll keep this one for the torch. This, like that. Like this. Ooh. It's gonna be already a little bit, like, complicated. Uh. One here, uh, one there, one over here. Hmm, actually, like this. One here, so just two dead ends there, uh, dead end here, and then this one goes uh, around. Huh. Hmm, that's not right. Um, this is better. And then this one here. Like that. That would be more, that would be better. Very limited space to work with. I still hope I'm doing kind of a good job on this little maze. Uh, hold on. Okay, you, you can go around this. Yes, put one here. So this whole area here is the one big dead end. But you don't know that. <laughs> You just run around and do all sorts of stuff. You'll be like, where am I going? Ooh, yes. Dead end here. But you can go around it to this place. This place could actually easily... Yes, actually. That would be nice. One here. One there. One more here for the dead end this hmm yes so we're gonna walk up here then around here wow it's an actually very easy one so we're just gonna put the wall there not making it much easier haha <laughs> because this one is we have to run around here around here this one is open for dead end, so you gotta go here. Wow, you literally have to go a gigantic circle from here to here. Wait. Wait. Haha! <laughs> like this. They gotta go around here. What if I may make you go all the way to the corner? around here and then going around around here here oh that's actually pretty cool I, I make people go like uh, throughout the entire thing hey that's that's a nice one boop boop what do you want people Facebook fuck off nobody cares and then we got the last layer. Ooh. Das final layer. Uh, 